What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy Papa React. I am back on YouTube and now I'm going to be pushing content from my own channel. So it's going to be exciting. I hope you guys are ready. I am bringing fire guys. I'm going to be dropping videos over here. I'm going to be dropping everything you've been asking for, whether it's React, React Native, TypeScript, Redux, Every tutorial you can think of is going to be on this channel. So if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know when a new video is about to drop. Now guys, I'm going to be talking about the top five reasons why you, why you, as to why you need to start learning React and be ready for 2021. Because guys, React is here to stay. It's here to make you a ton of money and I want to be the person that guides you and is your personal mentor. Now, let me see who is in the house. Let's go ahead and see who's joining this chat right now. And, uh, and we can go ahead and see, uh, let's go ahead and see. So we can see we've got Aisha Azam in the house. We've got Tanish, Nikhil, Jazdev, Priyanshu. Hey, we got Sachin. We got loads of people watching over guys go ahead and share this video so it gets out to as many people as possible and uh yeah it's gonna be pretty exciting guys um anchor says yo sunny is back it's been a long time man guys it's been a long time kelvin what's up dude good to see you man i want to go ahead and see some familiar faces here again and uh what i'm gonna actually do for some reason i can't pin your comments anymore so I'm going to go ahead and open you guys up on a second screen and that way if there's anyone who wants to get pinned on the screen, I can still go ahead and do that. I wanted to make this first video interactive, right? I wanted to make it interactive. I wanted to talk to you guys, you know, connect with you guys again because it has been a while and then we're pretty much going to be dropping some really nice pre-recorded videos because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting that, you know, some videos where you can pretty much go ahead and, you know, get a nice smooth tutorial and things like that, okay? So we've got Atma, what's up? Diego, hey, so hit. We've got 50 people watching already. That's amazing. Welcome back, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and load up some of your amazing comments right now. And we can go ahead and see. So let me go ahead and take a screenshot of the, the chat right now. And I'll show you guys who is in the house today, right? So guys, go ahead and check this out. This is awesome. I love highlighting whenever you guys come over. Um, let's go have a look. It's fun to be back, man. This is cool. So guys, go ahead and check it out. If you see your face here, then go ahead and have a little shout out. So we've got David. Hey, what's up, man? We've got David back in the house. We have Aisha Azam, Sohit, Cesar, Jay, Diego, Atma, Shivraj, Sohit, Harpreet Singh. Hey, what's up? All right, we've got Bad Boy. we got Ankush. Gabriel, what's up, dude? Can't do a super chat here to make an entrance. Dang. Oh, damn, really? Oh, shit. I don't know why. That's, that's weird. Um, right. So Nikhil says, interactive video. Can we also hear some people's own experiences of React.js? Well, hell yeah, dude. Go ahead and drop your experiences, and I can pretty much go ahead and share them. We've got Brendan. We've got Manu. We've got Harper. Happy to see you back. Puppy React. I am back, guys, and it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. All right. So, guys, who's ready to get started on this video today? If you are, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button and uh let's let's get it pretty serious up in here guys so you can see like i've got everything set up so you know the lights turn on when stuff gets serious and uh without further ado guys let's just jump straight into the video right so today we are going to be talking about like i said the five reasons right why it, you need to learn react for 2021 now guys i'm not joking when i say this right it's in one it's not hard to go ahead and and learn react but um one sec for okay interesting i don't know why that's happening but um okay cool anyway guys uh if you can't donate don't worry man honestly just enjoy the enjoy the content you know uh i'm sure that'll fix later but anyway guys first number re reason number one right so one of five it's because it is simply the most loved and wanted programming language on stack overflow now you might be wondering something you're just saying that man but like how, how do we know you ain't lying about that stuff and I can show you that for an absolute fact, okay? So on Stack Overflow, they did a really nice um, survey where they basically went around and asked all the developers like, hey, what's your favorite framework that you're working on, the library? And uh, you guessed it. Guess what came in first, guys? 
you got it right react js came in first place so here you can see we have the most loved dreaded and wanted web frameworks and sitting at first place guys we have react right and not by a little bit either like react came in hot guys so you can see over here react pretty much came in flying we have uh it's right at the top so it's absolutely crushing it oops i got my my wrong text thing there we go you can see it's absolutely crushing it at the top over here and then let's just have a look at this list right so loads of people who go to university what do you learn you learn jquery and everyone's just like after you learn a bit of jquery you're like hey like you learn a bit of web dev but uh you'll you'll quickly come out and you realize that oh shit that that shit's old man so if i see jquery now i i run the opposite direction right so what you want to be looking at is something like react because it's here to stay it's modern it's got a lot of power behind it right now you might have heard of a few others Vue, angular these are pretty cool don't get me wrong these are pretty powerful frameworks and, and libraries that you can use but the most bloody powerful library that you can get your hands on right now is this guy over here react okay so that's exactly why Papa react is here to go ahead and teach you guys how to grab that thing and just run with it right so looking at the chats right we can see Athava says jquery is oh is that yeah dude i feel you man um sachin says we want to be a react developer like you then you're in the right place dude if you're if you literally want to become a react developer then let me know right now because i'm going to be letting you guys going ahead and and can you know really i want to really like take you guys and just guide you all the way to that finish point right so this is the first thing i want to mention right it is the it is the most loved and wanted framework or library right so i don't want to get into that argument over here right some people are getting excited as well because spring and things like that are over here ruby on rails flask and you know a few others that you might have heard of before so if you've heard of any of these things then that should reassure you even more because then you know that you of, of these sort of technologies over here but then you've got the bad boy react up here right so it's coming it's just taking over and, and it's completely killing it right um <laughs> somebody goes can anyone else hear a slack notification sign in the background well you know we got we got some notifications happening here All right so I want to see more react native projects All right guys i'm going to highlight this one because i'm actually going to bring this one up All right so for everyone who is interested in looking on some react native projects i am going to be building out some react native stuff so just to let you know if you want to know about some react native projects uh we're going to be building some really awesome apps with react native uh, the imessage clone things like that i'm going to be rebuilding them with react native so that you can literally go ahead and just learn a ton of information from it right now if you want to get your hands on those tutorials all you have to do is really simple okay all you have to do is go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification icon so that way when i drop those videos and tutorials you're the first to get them that's it it's as simple as that it's all you have to do and if you want to go ahead and, and also like make sure that you're absolutely never going to miss that stuff and also if you want tips and tricks every week then make sure you also join the papa react newsletter the link is in the description and every week it's completely free just sign up and i'm going to be dropping you weekly emails and it's going to be value packed right it's value packed in emails everything that i learn i'm just going to be sharing with you guys whether it's a new technology whether it's some cool react libraries or uh, modules that i want you guys to know about i'm going to be sharing it so please 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 go ahead and make the most of that links in the description and it'll be pretty cool because it's also my way of keeping in touch with all of you right so we can see anchor says your real fan is here we want to see some more react projects you guys are going to see all of those projects um for sure um so <laughs> bad boy niaski says this is actually something i also want to bring up so he says don't forget to for don't forget the beginners we want react too all right so this is something i actually do want to we'll talk about so something i noticed previously right that that was a, sort of a problem is that a lot of the tutorials the beginners got lost right so i know you a lot of you guys loved it but the tutorials were, qu were quite tricky right um it was quite tricky so the problem was is that like you guys would you'd watch about five minutes into it and then you get lost right so i'm going to make your lives easier and i'm going to be dropping something which you've all been waiting for something which you've been asking me for like and i get dms about this all the time i'm going to be dropping react basics and things like that right? i'm going to be dropping the react sort of basics i'm going to be clearing things up for you guys making beautiful tutorials where you guys are going to be able to learn everything from scratch right so it's going to be really really nice for you 
And that's going to be really, I think that's going to help a lot of you out, right? So if you're excited for that, please let me know. And I can see loads of people jumping in the newsletter and I love that guys. So first link in the description, go ahead and be a part of that, right? So let's go ahead and see. Um, I can see so many, I love your energy guys. Everyone's like super excited. They're coming back. This is, this is fun. Guys, this is what I want to do. I want to have fun with you guys and just go ahead and, 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 and build out a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, I do have LinkedIn, by the way. Somebody asked about LinkedIn. So yeah, I, do, I definitely do have LinkedIn. Okay, now let's talk about a few different topics, right? So number one reason for learning React, because it's the most wanted and, and, and loved framework, uh, according to uh, one of the biggest companies out there, Stack Overflow, right? So we've all heard of Stack Overflow. We've all been there. We've all gone into those, like, you know, those, those forums where people make you feel this big and nobody likes that, but it's a handy place to go ahead and learn from, okay? So I see tons of people coming in that newsletter. That's what I want to see, guys. All right now, moving on to uh, let's let's break down that point. So why do I think it is the why do I think that's one of the best reasons for you to learn it? Because it's it's easy to learn, right? So let's go ahead and pull out that 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 little screen brush that you guys love, and that's the app, guys. By the way, so many people have like and ask me what is that app you use, and it is called Screen Brush. Okay, so it's called Screen Brush, and uh, that's that's what I'm using whenever I draw on the screen. So if you want to use it, go ahead and download this on the Mac App Store and it's going to help you guys out if you're ever trying to teach or something like that, right? So <coughs> React is the most um, wanted programming language, um, well, not language, library on Stack Overflow, right? So let's go ahead and break it down a little bit more so you get a better insight as to what's going on. So it's easy to learn, right? It's easy to learn. And this is because it's a library, not a framework, right? Now, what does that mean? It means that like Angular, for example, is a framework, which means that to go in, the learning curve is pretty high, right? So like when you want to sort of start an app off, you have to know quite a lot of Angular and the framework and how it works in order to get things up and running. With React, all you need to do is go ahead and literally use MP MPX, create React app. And before you know it, your app's up and running, right? So it's going to help you out a ton in terms of getting up and running off the ground. The learning curve is very, very easy, okay? So that's the first thing that I would recommend, uh, which I think is extremely useful. Now, the second thing is that it is it has a component-based design. Now, why is that handy, right? Component-based design. Some of you might be wondering, what the heck is component-based design? And simply put, all it is is essentially, where the heck are my little drawing tools gone? Um, oh yeah, there we go. So I got my nice little drawing tools over here. And guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna deactivate that little noise that Slack makes every time you guys join because it is gonna be uh, something which you're gonna hear back afterwards. So let me go ahead and deactivate that. And this is a debugging little issue when it comes on mute. Oh, there we go, mutual sounds, there we go, nice. So you guys shouldn't hear that little click click every time. All right, so component-based design. Now, what does that mean, right? So imagine we had a, we wrote a piece of code for a product, right? Which had a title. So imagine this was like the Amazon Echo and it had a price on it. So let's just say it was like $13.99 or something. Let's just say $49.99 is a bit more realistic, right? So imagine this was a component that we wrote, right, in React. Now, what you could do is you don't have to copy and paste the code over and over and over again. You just write this in one file, for example, called product.js, right? Now, when you have this, all you need to do then is go ahead and and literally go ahead and, uh, and, and, and reuse the product.js component. But you might be wondering, wait, Sonny, but how do I, how the hell do I go ahead and change the, the title and change the, the amount over here? And that's where props comes in. So in React, you have something called props and they are extremely powerful and they allow you to reuse components because you can typically go ahead and customize the properties that you're passing to each of those components. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's another reason why we like React, okay? Now, a few more benefits. It, it allows you to boost SEO. So if many of you who don't know what SEO is, that's the lovely little thing that pushes your search result on Google higher, right? So it means search engine optimization. And what that means essentially is like, imagine you had a business or a company, all you need to do is use something like React or use something like Next.js or server-side rendering, which is also making use of React. And you can get a really nice SEO score, which means that like, imagine you're trying to push uh, a brand, for example, Papa, we've got the merch coming soon. Get excited for that. That is exciting stuff. And I'm going to be dropping that Papa merch on you guys. Uh, I can't wait. I've got my stuff on its way. It got de uh, delayed because of the whole coronavirus situation, but super, super exciting stuff. Papa merch. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to pretty much be running with that stuff. 
Um, but yeah, you can boost your SEO, which means that your search results are going to come higher up, which is um, which is exactly what you want when you're running a business, right? Okay. Now, single page apps are fast, right? And now you heard me say something called single page apps there. This is what we build when we, when we use React, right? So whenever you use React, you're basically building a single page application, which means that it's like it loads up a bundle. And once it's loaded that bundle, everything sort of works extremely quick off of that. You don't see the refreshing, right? Inside of um, when you're coding, you don't typically, when you're sort of using a website, we hate it when we have to see a refresh or the page, when we click on like my account and it redirects us, that sort of refreshing is so annoying. And we, as, us as customers don't want that. You want sort of a seamless user experience where the app just loads really quick and everything sort of works off of it, right? So that's going to be something that's going to help you out over there. Um, okay, now prerequisites to getting started with React, right? So a lot of, a lot of the questions I typically get is, Sonny, what do I need to know uh, Oops, to start in React, right? It's just time React JS. Let's just go ahead and say that so make it super clear. All right. What do I need to know in order to get started with React JS? Right. And I get this question all the time. And guys, all you need to know is a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I promise you it doesn't get more complicated than that. If all you need is a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? And what I mean by this is like I know I'm a bit extreme when it's when this is said, but I think you need to go ahead and uh uh yeah so i think what you need to go ahead and do is is literally go ahead and build a web page and trust me when i say this right and this is purple react saying this right build a web page literally with a button on make it look a little bit pretty you know add some css and add some flair to it but then go ahead and just get a button working to the point where you click the button and you can console log some stuff out on the page that trust me is the point where i would say just start with react right because the reason why i say that is you're going to learn so much, right? Like I said, React is a library. It's very lightweight to pick up. You will learn so much in the process of just playing around with React. Your JavaScript will level up. A lot of things will come up with that sort of skill that you're developing. And you're just going to achieve so much more than simply going ahead and just doing websites with plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, now... We see, I see some comments over here saying, even though Sonny is trying his best to educate, you read the React docs when you are not practicing the tutorials. Um, so something I would recommend here, right? This is another reason I'll talk about it later, but the React docs are amazing. They have one of the clearest React docs, uh, like uh, the clearest forms of documentation I've ever used when it comes to any library and things like that. And now I was talking to a friend before this call and he mentioned that Django has actually really good docs as well. So it's comparable to that. So if you've ever, if you've ever looked at Django docs and you thought they're pretty good, React is a level up. They're really clean docs and they're going to help you sort of boost in that area. So I would recommend that you can go ahead and, and be sure that if you're jumping into an environment where it was well supported and built by Facebook, guys, so it's built by Facebook. Facebook is here to stay. I mean, do you think Facebook's going anywhere anytime soon? I definitely don't think Facebook's going anywhere. All right, Mark Zuckerberg is here to stay, guys, right? And he's killing it and everything like that. So we've got Sumo in the house. What's up, dude? I love that. Um, so, oh, nice. We have a 13 year old. He goes, Tanishk Singh and Nan says, I am 13 and you're my inspiration, Papa React. That's what I love, dude. Keep on doing your thing, keep on crushing. Um, and I can see a few things here. I'm going to go ahead and bring something up right now. Uh, so we have a wicked little comment over here. So I'm just going to uh, screenshot this one so you guys can see it. But we can see, um, let me go ahead and I'm just multitasking this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something on the screen. So can you see, we have a comment over here. Oh, it hasn't come in. Anyway, the comment was, can we expect some Gatsby and Next.js tutorials? Yes. I'm going to be dropping Gatsby and next year. So server-side rendering on this channel, Gatsby on this channel, React Native on this channel, TypeScript on this channel. It's, getting, it's going to be everything on this channel, guys. I'm going to cover everything, okay? Um, so, so this is going to be, this is going to be crazy. Like, uh, I, I'm telling you, I am excited for this, man. All right? So we have uh, loads of stuff going on. Now, what is possible with React, okay? So we were talking about it's the most wanted and, and, and loved programming language. And things like that so something that i want to show you is what can you do with it right so we built some pretty powerful apps right in the past that we that you guys know about and i'm going to run through some of those apps right now so without further ado let's jump into some apps that you can build with react okay so you guys can see we have the infamous amazon clone so loads of you guys would be familiar with this if you haven't 
then you know about this clone. Right? I'm going to bring the music back for this one. So this is a clone that we made. It's an Amazon website, right? Go ahead and smash the, smash the thumbs up button if you're excited for this, right? So you can go ahead on here and it's very responsive. You can see like as we re restructure the, the sort of size of the page, everything gets bigger and smaller as needed. And let's go ahead and add a few items to our basket. And you can pretty much go ahead and see that we add two items over here, right? Now this app is really powerful because it has Firebase behind it. So you can go ahead and even sign in. Um, but I'm going to show you if we add some stuff to our basket, you can see look, we've got a fully fledged basket over here. So it says your shopping basket, two items I added. I can remove an item and then you can go ahead and proceed to checkout. Now we did build a fully fledged one uh, for app with Stripe checkout and things like that. Um, so, you know, that's awesome. Uh, Samit says, Sunny, how can I donate for your coffee? For some reason, dude, I don't know why it's not, uh, it's not coming up, but I'm going to go ahead and fix that afterwards. All I want right now is everyone to just hit the thumbs up button. Don't worry about donating. Don't worry about any of that stuff. I appreciate everyone who did want to donate, but all I need for right now is sign up to that newsletter so I can start dropping you guys value. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so every time I drop a video, you're here to watch it. And as I said, guys, I just appreciate all of you that you're actually here watching. And that's all I want from all of you, right? So uh, Bishesh says, Sunny made React so much simpler. Guys, my goal, my mission is to make React, Gatsby, Next.js, TypeScript, React Native to this level of simplicity. That is my mission. If I can do that, I'm leaving a legacy and that's everything that I always wanted to do, right? So that is literally my goal. That's my mission. And that's what we want to do. David's in the house. What's up guys? Dr. Man, you might know him. I've done some man stat builds with him. So Hill is in the house. That's awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and carry on with the build. So we've done the Amazon build, right? That was pretty cool. Netflix. We also built this out. Now this was a dope build, right? Like if you're interested in this one, go ahead and I'm going to link everything inside, uh, but you can go ahead and actually check this one out right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that at the top. It's very small, but um, you can go ahead and check that out if you want. All right. We have Rishi in the house. What's up, Rishi? Um, running through some of the powerful apps that you can build right now with uh, React. So we have the Netflix clone, which is honestly is just crazy powerful. And then we had the iMessage clone, right? So this one is live right now, to be fair. Like, we can go and actually go ahead and play with this. To be honest, let's bloody, let's do that right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and share this in the chat, okay? So I'm going to share this in the chat right now and check this out. Joe Diaz, what's up, dude? Guys, I'm sharing this in the chat, right? And as soon as I share this, I'm going to go ahead and create a chat, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a chat. Let's call this one the YouTube chat, right? The YouTube chat. I'm going to create that and let's see if it jumped in. Where is it going? Uh, it just jumped in. Let's just let's go to this one. Sunny is the goat. Thank you, dude. <laughs> so I'm going to drop this in there. Go ahead and join me, guys, right now. Join me right now. I'll show you. This app actually works right now and it's live. And we built this, right? And if you want to see how we built this, we can go ahead and show you. But go ahead and check this, guys. So you should be able to see it. And if I go ahead and message that, so who else is here right now? If you guys can find this where it says Sunny is the goat, go ahead and come in and just send a message. And let's see who is the first one to drop a message in here right now. Okay. So go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, oh, nice. Look at that, guys. We got people coming in. This is cool. All right. Let's go ahead and see who else can come in. Right. So look at that. Oh, someone spammed it. Right. Yes, guys, please don't do that. I mean, I try my best to avoid the bugs in this build. But you can see, look, we got C. Pop React is the best. We got hello, Ali. Thank you, guys. Um, and you can see, look, it even loads your pictures, guys. So it's pretty, pretty powerful build. That was a lot of fun building that one. I can tell you that was actually a, a lot of a hell of a lot of fun. Um, and that was pretty awesome. Right. So guys, another thing we built, we got the TikTok clone. So this one had nearly half a million views, right? And you can see me and my beautiful girlfriend Mervon over here. And we're just like slaying on TikTok. And, uh, and this is a build that we did over a clever program and, and pretty much went ahead and showed you how to do it. So we can build powerful apps like TikTok. We also built the Instagram clone. So we went ahead, built Instagram and everything on that based on it. And, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can break it down and all that sort of stuff uh, on this channel. So make sure, as I said before, you're subscribed and that's all I ask of you. Okay. So we talked about the first major point of one of five, right? We talked about the first of five points. And that is why it is the most wanted and loved. Um, oh, Pedro, what's up, guys? I've got students jumping in now. This is awesome, man. We got Amrit saying, is it required to sign in? Yes, that used Google authentication, which is dope, man. So that one actually had like Firebase authentication. So as I mentioned before, React, React Native, TypeScript, 
uh, Gatsby, Next.js, all of those things I'm going to be covering on this channel. So, I mean, like, if you, if you wanted a, a treat for 2021, this, like, I hope this made your day, right? Because I'm coming back. I'm on full power right now, and I'm going to be dropping this, like, content consistently. You can feel the energy because I'm literally, like, I am pumped to be back, right? Let me know as well, guys, if you want vlogs, right? If you want vlogs, I'll make some vlogs, and that'll be pretty fun to go ahead and do. Right, we nearly have 100 people live, so let's keep getting that number up. Share this video out. I hope people, um, and, and guys, remember, you guys are going to be here from the beginning. So I appreciate each and every single one of you for jumping on today's video, okay? So let's carry on, right? Now, point number two as to why you need to know React in 2021, right? What is the reason why you need to know React? It's because the job opportunities and salaries are ridiculous right now right so the job opportunities and salaries are absolutely insane right i'm talking like you can get six figure jobs you can get all, all this stuff is feasible now you don't believe me in the chat right now is somebody called sumo sumo and he's got i think his tag is sumit and he is actually somebody i worked with and he landed a six figure salary and i actually do work with him right now he's one of my students and he's crushing it in boston landed a six figure salary and guys, I have endless stories of people who are absolutely like just destroying it, right? Like it's crazy exciting how many people and Mohit says, yes, we want blogs. So I hear you guys. I hear you. I'm going to be doing this thing. My Vikram says, yeah, do your coding fitness vlogs like your old ones. You know what? I'll even get Meb on. I'll even get Meb on the channel. We can go ahead and do that. So Jen Meha says, hey there, CP Rat fam. What's up? So meet. There he is. Six figures. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that one right there. So Sumit is no joke, guys. He actually made a six-figure salary, and it's completely there, and he showed me, and it's real. Uh, yeah, so, like, crushing it, amazing stuff. Um, I don't know how I zoom into that. There we go. So you can see that's one of the comments that came through. Awesome stuff. I'll, I'll swap the pinning next time so we, we don't have that issue. Um, so, yeah, we have loads of things happening over on this side. It's crazy, right? So I was talking about the job opportunities and salaries for a React developer, right? Now, if you could learn one skill, right, in 2021, it, for me, I would suggest you pick up React, right? Now, why is that, right? So it's because honestly, the, the job market is so in demand right now. And the first thing that I showed you guys is it's, it's the most loved language, right? So that was the first thing I showed you guys, and, and I'm not joking when I say this, right? It's completely, and this is true. My friend Jay literally picked up a six-figure salary today. We were on the phone earlier and it's lit, he literally did it, right? He picked up a six-figure job and I'm going to be even doing some stuff with helping him out. So crazy, crazy stuff, right? Uh, it, it's, it's just insane, right? Rishi says five figures here, six figures soon. Yep, so Rishi actually landed something as well. Um, add add uh, Sumit on, on LinkedIn, guys, and you pretty much see for yourself, right? So you guys can go ahead and check that out. And uh, Sumit, go ahead and share your LinkedIn handle, and then you can, you can go ahead and, you know, check for yourself. LinkedIn, he's actually a six-figure dev, which is awesome. And I actually climbed the ranks, and I'm going to teach you guys how I did that, uh, how I landed freelancing clients, how I landed gigs, how I landed all that stuff and all that fun stuff. So that would be pretty cool to share with you all. Now, let's talk about some of the job opportunities, right? So firstly, remember, React is backed by the guys over at Facebook. So it was actually created by the team over at Facebook. So it's a completely backed, you know, it's not something which is going to disappear tomorrow. So let's go ahead and look at some of the developer markets, right? So this is actually one of the more better cases when you can actually become a React developer. And here, look at this, guys. We're looking at a media. And now this is the USA average salary. So now USA do pay good salaries. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is why it's amazing to learn something like React, right? Because, well, guys, I don't think you understand. Like, we're blessed. Do you know why we're blessed? Because it is literally a case that you can go ahead and get, like, for the first time in history, you can tap into a US market even if you're not in US, I'm in London, guys, and I can get that salary over here, right? Like if you're in India, if you're in Sri Lanka, if you're anywhere in the world, you can still go ahead and tap into that market, right? That's it. It's as simple as that. You can go ahead and tap into the market. So over here, you can see the low end 68K. I mean, I'm, I don't know about you, but like if you're starting off as a developer, that's not bad at all, guys. I mean, I can't complain if you had a, you know, a six, 68K salary to start off with. You can see, shit just got real because we're talking about some money stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get everything a bit more, you know, 
intense. Um, but you got a median of 121K and then a high salary of 171. Now I know people who are on 200, 300K salaries, it's no joke. Uh, I know I've got a friend who works in Netflix. I've got another friend who actually works in PayPal. Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. And uh, and all this stuff actually happens. So you can hear that breakdown, Missouri, 146K, New York, 146K, 135K. Guys, let me know. Um, let me know in, in the comments right now, what, 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 what starting salary would you want, right? Drop a number in the comment right now and let me know what kind of starting salary would you want as a, as a junior developer, right? And then if, if, if I hear enough of them, I'll tell you what my starting salary was and I'll tell you how I went ahead and jumped up, right? Um, let's jump onto your next one, indeed.com, right? So let's look at this. Indeed.com is somewhere where you can pretty much go ahead and land a job. Right, so it shows you a ton of different jobs openings on the market. So you've got a mid front level developer, front end developer, JavaScript, React, junior front end developer, React developer, React developer contract, 400 a week, right? IBM offering React jobs, junior React developer. Guys, look, it just goes on. Like I'm not, it is crazy. Like this just goes on and on and on. And these are all London jobs that are near me, like Newbury. You've got this one here, remote UK based. All of them are like loads of them are remote, right? Now, why do I also love React? Because it's also like a very front, obviously it's a, it's a front end library, which means that you're building out front end apps. But I'm gonna touch the, I'm gonna touch on a really strong point next because every time you learn a bit more with React, you're upgrading your JavaScript knowledge, which means that technically you can go ahead and transfer that over to the back end comes really powerful we're going to talk about that in a sec all right but jumping back over you can see there's tons of jobs right now let's go back to the top here and you can see it says page one of 2809 jobs now i don't know about you guys but that's that's a pretty decent amount of jobs right now i'm just going to go ahead and check out some of the okay so we can see we can see let's check out the comments we can see uh vikram says 30k nice uh pratik says 120k dixon kwasi says 150k all right let's go ahead and check this out. i'm going to go ahead and drop this uh live chat screenshot and you guys can see this for yourself right because i you know i'm not lying when i say this all right let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger there we go so we've got 30k we've got 120k 150k uh cena says 50k will be okay i guess yeah we can get 50k uh michael says 75k Seaman says 66k rishi says starting salary should be equal to knowledge right now this is actually a very good point i would actually agree that and i'll say starting salary doesn't actually matter guys because i can tell you if you focus on positioning yourself around or in a team where you're going to grow as a developer that's where the real money comes in because you're getting like free training and you're like gonna you're gonna shoot past all the other junior devs all the other mid and honestly you can start flying past senior devs in, in a quick time trust me when i say this because i was someone who was in a position where my first salary i think was 22k 22 000 pounds right and in three years so no no in two and a half years two and a half years i crossed the six figure mark so i was a six figure dev by 23 and i was making over a hundred thousand pound by age 23 and it's no joke right you can do this stuff and this is why i'm here because i want to just teach you guys everything all my tips and tricks and you know get you guys up to a point where we can just you know we can change your life and absolutely crush it right so it's exciting stuff and make sure you are sharing this with as many people as you can because try and help someone else out and it will bring you some you know some good luck for the new year and that's what we want guys we want a positive community all right um so Cesar says firebase is coming right sunny yes so we also i'm actually going to be dropping tons of firebase content Many of you, that you, of you that have been following the channel know that I'm a huge fan of Firebase. I actually would love to partner with them. So I'm going to try and get in contact with them, see if we can go ahead and do something and see if we can start a conversation there. That would be pretty cool, right? Um, so a lot of people say, does the website work in India? I mean, yeah, <laughs> if you deploy a website with Firebase, it's going to work anywhere, guys. Uh, 100K, 150K, 96K. Steven, what's up? Hey, dude. Nice to see you here. Tishar says, should I learn TypeScript in 2021? Hell yeah, dude. That script's good and I'm going to cover it for you, right? So that's going to be cool. All right. Now, carrying on to point two, right? So we talked about a couple of job openings here and let's look at the last one here. We have pay scale, right? So the average salary for the skill React.js. So that's that's what that's the way I want to kind of put this. The skill React.js, right? So pick up the new skill React, right? Pick it up today and it's going to help you out, right? Um, guys, we're almost at 100 viewers. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about, guys. First video back. I'm already at 100 people watching this. And it's crazy because this is a new channel. This is a whole new, like, 
This is a whole new push. This is a whole new start. We're going to get everything up and running, guys. Can we hit over? Yes. There we go. We just pumped over 100 people watching right now. Guys, just just thank you. Like, seriously, thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I want him to come back as Papa React. And this is like, this, you guys have made my day, right? Logan says, hey, Sunny Bro, this is amazing. Good to see you. I'm, I'm excited, man. And the fact that we just hit over 100 viewers concurrently, that's what I'm talking about. So make sure if you're here, all I ask is you smash the thumbs up button. Uh, and then you pretty much go ahead and subscribe and get you, you get excited for the content we're about to bring because I'm telling you guys it's going to be good and we're going to be dropping like vlogs and all sorts of stuff and yeah I appreciate each and every single one of you guys I want you to know that thank you because without any of you guys this stuff wouldn't be possible and I just want my mission here is to get you guys just get you guys dialed in change every single one of your lives that is my mission right mohit says sonny can we get some firebase stuff hell yeah dude completely coding deep says looking to learn typescript and now it's going to be covered by papa react himself hell yeah dude we're going to be covering all that stuff you know how we do it on the channel right so we have loads of people on this stream right now it's awesome amazing stuff uh user said you deserve 100 million views guys we'll get to 100 million we'll, we'll do it guys this is what we're about we're going to build a huge family over here and uh, we're gonna absolutely crush it. Philip Jones says, go Sonny, that's what I'm talking about guys. I love the energy, right? So let's carry on, right? 91K average salary, that is not bad at all, right? We've got front end devs getting 82K, senior software engineers, 93K. Now, whenever you see software engineer, most likely talking full stack. So just bear that in mind. So for web developers, 66K, whenever you see web developer, we're typically talking front end. Um, senior software developer, full stack, 80K, 113K. You see what I'm talking about, right? This is a lot of money and it is crazy amount of stuff that we can do, right? And it's really, really awesome as to like the possibilities. I see loads of people actually asking for Discord. I will create a Discord if you guys are interested in Discord. So that would be awesome, right? Some people said, will Papa React be free? Hell yeah, dude. I'm making this stuff accessible to everyone. All right, so this is my mission now to make this stuff accessible to everyone as much people as possible right so uh yeah that's awesome and guys i would really appreciate right before we carry on if you're watching this right now right and you support the channel you appreciate everything one just go ahead and pull out your smartphone right now and you can see the little tag over on this side right like go ahead and hit me up on instagram right send me a dm i try and get back to as many of you as i possibly can shoot a story and say i was here on sunny's first video back right repost me uh, and add me and uh, tag me in that and i'll shout you guys out and we'll all grow together right that'll be cool to go ahead and see that right also i did a q a recently i'm going to be dropping a video on q a so that would be awesome to do all right so another reason why um, it's amazing and the job opportunity salaries are booming is because it wasn't affected by COVID guys. Like everyone got hit by COVID pretty damn hard, right? Like COVID came in pretty much took out jobs, took out like uh, economies, all sorts, right? But the one thing that we were lucky about as a software developer is it actually increased our sort of our business, right? Because a lot more remote working opportunities came out. And as a developer, you can work anywhere that you really have an internet connection. And even if you don't have an internet connection, you can carry on working. And then when you get back online, you can push your code, right? So it really has got a lot of power behind React, Web Dev, that sort of journey that you're gonna take by moving into this career. Now, I did wanna talk about three ways that you can make some money as a uh, when by, by, uh, by learning React as a skill. And I'm not just talking about uh, I'm not just talking about um, React uh, in a nine to five job. I'm talking about uh, in, in all aspects, right? So I'm going to go through those very quickly and we can pretty much go ahead and deep dive. So three ways to make some money as a React dev, right? And, and if you're wondering, this was point two, by the way, of five, right? So the first point was it's the most wanted and loved programming language. Second one was job opportunities and salaries, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through three ways to make money as a react developer so number one is teaching right teaching like literally don't underestimate the power of teaching i do so much coaching it's crazy right like i teach so many people how to code on one-to-one -one sessions i do group coaching anyone's interested you know where to find me on instagram go ahead and send me a link a message guys like if you and, and this is the number one question that i want to address right now right I always hear this, but Sonny, I'm not experienced enough. I don't have the experience. I, I'm not good enough at coaching and things like that, right? But the one thing that I will mention to you is it really doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. If you can get 
HTML on a page and you can hook up some CSS and make the text blue, right? And have a JavaScript file imported in. Now you're already ahead of someone who didn't know how to do that. So you can teach them that and then you can value yourself. The difference here is we don't know how to market ourselves as a teachable developer and how we can deliver that value and ask for compensation for it. That's the problem, right? And what I'd recommend is when we're teaching, I want you all to go ahead and, and buy a book called John Sommer's Soft Skills, right? So this book changed my life and this is something I'd recommend to every single one of you John Sommer's Soft Skills, right? And it's a bloody amazing book. And if he's watching, like, honestly, dude, like, crazy stuff. And uh, I will break down how I go into sort of landing people to teach and things like that in a future video. But that's just something to know that you can do, right? So number two, and we're not going to jump over that. So we've got the freelancing route, okay? So the freelancing route is something that a lot of us are interested in. And the reason being is because you can work for yourself, right? Well, you can. But there are some things that you need to take into consideration, right? Now, remember, freelancers have more than one boss, right? They don't have just one boss. They have several bosses if you take on three jobs, for example. But you can land a freelancing gig in a few different places, right? Let's go ahead and list them out. You can land a job in Upwork. So these are all places right now. Go ahead and sign up to these if you haven't already, right? Upwork, freelancer.com. Yeah, uh, go ahead and sign up to Top Tool. Top Tool is another great resource, right? Top Tool. And we can also go ahead and sign up to something like Fiverr, right? Now, I'm not a fan of Fiverr, which is why it's in this in this lane. Reason being is because I just feel the quality of work is less on that side. Um, but these are a few resources that I hope you guys find useful. Go ahead and create accounts on these and you can pretty much go ahead and get started with it, right? So that's going to help you out. Now, I also want to shout out a few resources for teaching, right? So one of them is called Wizant. Right, I'd definitely go ahead and create an account on that one if I was you. Takelessons.com as well as another great one. And guys, use your socials, right? Build a social presence. And trust me, social platforms are going to be extremely powerful for um, pushing yourself as a teacher or someone who can help out someone else, right? Because by showing that you know how to do a certain thing, by sharing your experience, by sharing your journey, people are going to look at you, trust you, and then they're going to basically go ahead and want to do some lessons with you. And that's how you pretty much progress, move forward, right? So number one was teaching, number two is freelancing, and number three, as we all know and guessed it, as you can imagine, it is landing a job, right? So landing a job. Now this one has the most security, right? So this one has the most security. This is gonna provide you with a wage at the end of every month. But obviously you have to kind of progress your way and you have to sort of persuade someone to take you on full time. That takes a lot of different skills, right? Now we always think that, oh, I need to do a React tutorial. I need to do something else. Guys, remember, it's not just coding, right? It's soft skills, right? It's, it's, it's marketing yourself as somebody that actually wants to work with you. Right? It doesn't matter if you're the best developer in the world and you've done 150 million tutorials, invested 100 grand in yourself, got a degree, got a master's degree. It doesn't matter about all of that if the person doesn't want to work with you, right? So make sure you put, walk in, put a smile on your face, bring some, bring a good attitude, bring a good vibe, be somebody that someone else wants to actually work with, right? Because that's where you're actually going to make a difference, make a presence. And that's where somebody will want to bring you into their company and change the game, right? So that's going to be really important. Uh, I see loads of people asking about, yeah, but we have to learn tutorials first and things like that. Guys, this is a lot more, there's a lot more to it than just coding. I believe it or not, right? But on the channel, we are going to be covering all of that. So we talked about these three avenues for making money, things like that, right? Now, how can you land a few jobs? So there are a few places that I want to show you. Um, I'll actually go ahead and show you the actual websites for them. So one of them for, as we mentioned before, takelessons.com. This one is really good for like, uh, sign up to it, make a profile and people can find you and go ahead and, uh, and actually, um, and pretty much book a session with you and things like that. Now guys, we are two likes away from a hundred likes. So go ahead and we can go ahead and push it and get that like up to a hundred. So we're almost there guys. And if we can do that, we're one like away, one like away, and we can pretty much go ahead and, and crush the 100 like mark. Who is going to be the 100th like? I saw someone deducting. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and we can go ahead and do it. So somebody said 100 likes in the Diva video. Oh, hell yeah, dude. There we go. We just hit 100 likes. That's what I'm talking about. That's the energy I wanted on this video. This is why I wanted to do a live stream for you guys because I know how it gets. And this is just, this is awesome, man. Thank you so much, guys. So we had takelessons.com. We had Wizant, right? Wizant is somewhere where you can pretty much again sign up, 
It's a platform that connects you to someone else and you can pretty much start teaching on platforms like this. We have freelancer.com. This one again, it's all about going ahead and building your profile, having reputation, having a trustworthy profile, just like on eBay, right? If you buy a product off of eBay, you look at the seller and you're like, can I trust this dude? They got five stars. Can I, do I, do I even like them? Like, why has this guy got a one star rating 3000 times? I wouldn't work with that guy. You know, so that those things, those things make a different play. They are important. Um, so somebody says, Cesar says, Sonny, which is for you a starting point for landing a job? I'm talking about skills and languages. As I mentioned, guys, start with web development, start with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, progress to react, and then just literally just start on that journey. Right. That would be my honest advice. Uh, soft skills, the book, read that combine that all together is enough to kind of progress you forward in that journey. Um, and just keep watching, <laughs> keep watching the channel because I'm going to be dropping so many tutorials, so many tips and tricks and the community that you're going to be a part of is constantly pushing forward and growing, right? So that's the main growth reason as to why we want to, you know, get this out there. Now, guys, I also want to make a quick pause here saying, if you're enjoying the video, please share the video out to as many people as you possibly can get this video channel shared out. If you're not already subscribed, I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying the content that you see. Right now, the next one we're going to talk about is Upwork. So as I mentioned before, Upwork is an awesome site for actually landing high quality paying gigs. Right. So over here we can see Upwork is where you pretty much go ahead and you can find a bunch of jobs, web, mobile, software, dev, design jobs, writing, sales, marketing, all those different things you can go ahead and get done um, and they're going to help you out a lot. Right. So uh, Upwork is a really good place and I've actually done some work on Upwork before. And you get some very, you get high quality jobs, which is what I like about Upwork, right? So that's going to be really, really awesome for everyone. Now, Top Tool is another one. Um, so again, this is a place where you can pretty much go ahead and, and you can, it, it works for the recruiters, it works for you, but you pretty much go ahead and put yourself out there and people start coming to you and, and things like that. So it's going to be really awesome. Uh, now for the job, right? So we talked about a few things over here and one of them was landing the job, right? So, so this one over here. Now I worked with a company called Hired.com. So, so Hired. Uh, oops, let me go ahead and, oops, I've got rid of this. What happened here? Yeah. So I worked with a company called hired.com, right? So hired.com is an awesome platform. Now this is, this is an insight into Papa react, right? So just to show you guys, I ain't bullshitting, but right? I worked with hired.com all the way from when I was a junior dev and I went all the way up to when I was getting like near hundred K salaries. Right now I'm going to show you guys. And remember, bear in mind that I was doing uh, nine to five jobs as well as freelancing as well as teaching which is why my my sort of income pushed way over the six figure mark the nine to five job was the bulk of the income and then the freelancing on top and then the teaching on top of that so all those things sort of supplement you and you get over a six figure mark or you do get chances where you can go over um and it's awesome to see i actually use one of the platforms that i'm actually got a job offer for so uh cena sorat says i just got the soft skills book let's go that's amazing let me know how it gets on with the read uh honestly awesome book we have 106 concurrent viewers and 106 likes that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly the kind of energy that I love. That's cool. That's perfection right there. That's awesome, right? Um, okay, so you guys ready for this? Here we go. So you can see when someone goes, I went for one interview, right? Guys, look how many interviews I went for, right? This is in Hired.com. So Hired.com, you set up a profile, they come to you. So this is the start of my journey, right? This was the start of my journey. And you can see, like I started off and I started getting 25 K salaries, right? So 25 K and things like that. And I remember I went for an interview for every single one of these, right? I got um, a few job offers and things like that. Um, but here we can go ahead and see like, this was the first job I ever got a company called birdie, right? 25 K starting salary, right? 25 K starting salary. I got it from hide.com. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and check out my Instagram. So the tag is over here. You can go ahead and check out. And if you swipe all the way to my highlights, you'll see hide.com. And they even sent me a bottle of champagne, which was like, you guys got me the job and you sent me a bottle of Dom Perignon. I don't know, like, but it worked for them. So it's crazy. Right. Um, so that was really cool. Um, that was really, really awesome stuff. And that helped me out. So now you guys can see over here, you've got a bunch of the jobs and these are all things like as it came, as I progressed, right? So you can see the, the salary started going up 40 K 40 K. And then when I came back on the market, you'll see there's a big jump. So I remember here, this is where I got my second job, Tesco. So this is why I worked at Tesco, a company, uh, which is similar to Walmart, but for the UK. Um, so I landed my second job over here and now I started off at 40 K and then I pushed that salary really up 
to about 65, I think 60K. And then, um, and what I did is I had, an, I had job offers from Trussell. I had job offer from Tesco. I had a job offer from ThoughtWorks and I just used them to negotiate with each other. And then I pretty much bumped my salary up, right? And then when I went back on the market, you can see I took a jump. This is it, right? This was in the space of less than a year. And look, you can see 80K, 75K, 60K, 85K. I had interviews with all of these places. Trussell reached out to me again with a 95K offer, right? And um, loads of people saying, when can we expect the Papa React courses? I'm working on it right now, dude. Right now, I'm working on that stuff. I'm trying to deliver the value. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my Instagram so you can know when everything's coming out. But yeah, I'm working on everything. I actually have a really a good account with Free Trade. They're actually an awesome trading platform. Um, I, I completely forgot I had an interview with them. So I was actually a developer that could have been there. Uh, I, they did offer me a position, but I turned it down for a better job. Um, but yeah, you can see pretty much this is crazy, right? And then you can see these ones look £75 an hour, uh, 85k. And, and this was not contracting. This was full-time positions. Every single one of these was a uh, an actual interview, just to, just to let you know, right? So these are all real companies, real interviews. And it is using Hired.com, right? So you can see the platform is called Hired.com. So I recommend everyone actually use this platform. It's really, really good. And it's really, really powerful, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about is um okay let me go into the next topic then All right so we talked about the three ways that you can make money right so we talked about five points as to why you want to learn react in 2021 the first point was because it's the most wanted and loved programming language i uh, not language sorry the programming li library to use with javascript right number two the job opportunities and salaries are mind-blowing right it's crazy i just showed you three ways that you can make money Broke it down, and that is honestly crazy stuff. Newman says, Sonny, I just got a freelancing work from a WordPress e-commerce site for a local store, but my main focus is Mernstack. Honestly, dude, that's incredible. Do whatever it takes to boost your income up. Remember, any web dev is, is web dev, right? It's going to help you. It's all going to come back into the same circle. So keep on pushing. That's awesome stuff. And guys, give him a well done in the chat. That's really amazing. Um, moving on to point three, right? So I remember I said five reasons why you need to know react.js in 2021 right so point five that we're going to talk about today is that it's easy to learn it's so damn versatile and by learning react means you learn javascript to a higher level right your javascript is obviously going to get leveled up if it's the language that you're using when you're using the react library right now why is this so important right so i'm going to go ahead and, and, and whiteboard this one or blackboard it right so why is this so important, right? So it's easy to learn. So point number three, right? It's easy to learn, right? Easy to learn. And, oh man, God damn it. I need to freeze it. There we go. Pull this back up on the screen for you guys. So we go, it's easy to learn and it's versatile. So let me go ahead and share the screen. There we go. Easy to learn and it's versatile. Yeah. Point three, right? There we go. So this is three of five, right? So we're getting there, guys. And if you guys have found value in this, then smash the thumbs up button. I appreciate all of you, right? So what can you do with this, right? Remember, it's a library. So React is something that we call a library. React is a library. And what does a library mean? It's lightweight, right? You only use what you need to use, right? You don't have to know the entire framework like Angular and things like that. So you don't actually have to go crazy with your learning curve. And like, you don't have, you don't have a lot to kind of jump into. You can just go ahead and get started very quickly, right? So what can you do with that? You can pretty much go ahead and do the following. You can build a web app, right? So you can build a PWA, we call it a progressive web app. So let's just say a web app, right? And web apps are awesome because they work on any device. They work on a tablet, they work on a phone. They were very responsive, all that cool sort of cool stuff. So you can work on front ends with React, right? So uh, websites like uh, Facebook, websites like Tinder, all of those things, Uber, all use like, so you've got Tinder, you've got Uber, you've got Facebook, they all use React, right? They're all powerful systems which use React, like websites. And then you can also work on backend, right? So if you know React, you can use Node.js for backend builds, right? Now, I teach a lot of this in previous videos, but I'm gonna be dropping all this stuff, so I'm gonna tell you the difference between a front end and a backend developer. But the amazing thing is, right? Um, the amazing, amazing thing is, is that like both of these, right? So both of these two things use you guessed it, they use JavaScript, right? So if you were coding in Java, right? Let's just say you're coding in Java, right? 
then you could build some amazingly powerful back-end apps, right? But your front-end, you're not going to really level up your front-end that that much by using Java, right? Whereas in JavaScript, Node.js on the back-end, React on the front-end. Like, you have a powerhouse, a full stack, just a, a setup for an entire absolutely, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you a far away. Trust me when I say that, right? Um, and guys, it goes further than that, right? So, okay, at this point, you're probably sold. You're probably wondering, like, oh, shit, okay, you can do quite a lot with React. But guys, you can go further and you can build iOS and Android apps. Yes, I said it. If you know React, you can go ahead and learn something called React Native, which most of you are like itching for it right now. Like you really want to know how to get involved in React Native. And this allows you to build iOS and Android apps, right? So iOS and Android apps, amazing stuff. You can pretty much go ahead and, and I've done this before. And as I said before, it's plug and play, right? You just plug and play. You only learn as you need to learn, right? So one thing that's really cool is that because it's a library, you literally go ahead and like, say you need rooting in your app or you need different pages inside of a single page app. All you need to do is plug and play, right? You just plug and play things. So for example, if I need page rooting, right? So if I need page rooting, then what do I turn to? I turn to React Rooter, right? So if I need page rooting, I go ahead and I just look over at something like this, right? So now I've got page rooting, it works, awesome stuff. Right. If I need um, to manage my data in the app, right? So I need to manage data, right? Or like manage the flow of data in the app, right? So imagine like my app gets a little bit more complicated. Um, then you guys can go ahead and, and kind of guess. Go ahead and guess in the comment section what I'm about to say. But you can go ahead and do something like Redux, right? So you even manage data flows throughout your app. You can go ahead and use something like Redux. Uh, only at the point where you need it, you have to plug it in. You don't need to know anything else, right? Need designs right? Need some powerful design stuff. You can use a library like Material UI, right? So Google's Material Design Library, amazing stuff, amazingly powerful, and it's going to be really, really helpful for what you're deciding to do, right? So I'm going to change the music up a little bit. I like this little backing track, right? So uh, design, you can use Material UI. And if you need SEO and speed, right? Imagine you need speed, like right? you can go ahead and look at something like Gatsby, right? Next.js, all these things right like that, even something called Preact, right? So some of you may have heard of this, but Preact is dope, right? It's a, it's a server-side rendering miniature version of React, has everything that pretty much, well, almost everything that React has, but it's really, really powerful and it's really damn fast and lightweight, okay? So it's gonna be really, really powerful and, and it's gonna help you out now. The final point that I wanna mention is that it's so easy to learn Right? It's versatile. You can use it across like React Native. You can you can build progressive web apps with it, front end and back end. You do everything with it, right? Now, why is this so damn powerful? Uh, it's because like one, you're gonna get so much value from picking up this skill, right? Now, again, what if you what if you still find it tricky, right? Well, they make it so damn easy to get started. So there is something called Create React App. Right. So Create React App is literally a command line tool. All you need to do is actually have Node installed so that way you can run NPX. And then you literally do NPX, Create React App, and you just put the name in. And it does everything for you. No configuration required. Nothing else that you need to go ahead and do. Um, really, really simple to get started. And with that said, you can pretty much go ahead and, uh, and literally just start the project and actually build the app that you care about. You don't have to worry about all the setup and how do I use this and how do I get everything done. So really, really powerful stuff. I saw so many people, Pedro, Tanish, they all guessed right. They said Redux, exactly. Right, so loads of stuff happening, right? And then, um, yeah, really, really awesome stuff. So that was reason number three, right? Reason number three why you should learn React in 2121 is because it's easy to learn and it's versatile. It's gonna increase your JavaScript skills. JavaScript is here to stay jQuery was here, that was JavaScript. jQuery died a while ago, but now we've moved on to the next thing, React, right? React's gonna be here for the next five, 10 years. And then after that, it's gonna be something else, but you can be sure that JavaScript is here to stay. Like, put your bets on something safe, right? Do you think at any point in the near future, we are gonna run out of websites? Do you think in the near future, we're gonna run out of apps? Not really, right? So in that case, it's a safe damn bet to go ahead and get started with it, right? Now, point number four, right? When you have an application, when you have an idea, you want it to be fast, right? 
You want it to be extremely fast. You want the thing to be up and running. I don't want to sit there and kind of focus about setup. I don't have to sit there and learn a five, 10 new things just to get started with the process. So how can I go ahead and do that, right? Like, so React is the answer. And one, the development time is extremely quick. So we just talked about uh, Create React App, right? So we talked about Create React App and we talked about how you can use it to just go ahead and get an app completely set up extremely fast and easy, right? So that is really, really powerful. You don't need to worry about any of the stuff. All you can do is focus on the front end, focus on the front, uh, the build itself. And you can take it a step further, right? So you can use something called templates. So templates are really, really powerful. And what they allow you to do, for example, let's say I want TypeScript in my app. I run npx create react app dash dash template TypeScript. That's it. And you're probably wondering like, what the hell man? Like, no way, like, that's crazy. Is it really that easy? Yep. And if you want Redux, you just do dash dash template Redux. And I promise you that's it. And there's even one for Redux TypeScript. So yeah, they answer everything, right? And I've, I actually, whenever I have a freelancing client, whenever I have a big job, do you think I start the configuration for myself from the beginning? No, I literally go ahead and do dash dash template, uh, TypeScript dash dash template Redux, whatever will help me be the quickest off the ground. Uh, uh, and, it, and it uses all the latest standards and everything. They make sure that these packages stay up to date. So really, really powerful stuff. Um, Vishal, thank you so much. He goes, Sonny, you're the best at what you do. Just love the way you explain things. Amazing person. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate the love and kind words. Uh, that's really, really, uh, that's really, really awesome, man. Thank you so much. Okay. So we talked about, it's really, really fast right now. Why is it fast? Because remember, it's a library, right? Angular is a framework, which means it's really heavy, right? Which means you have to go ahead and learn a bunch of new things to get it working. You need to know the Angular way of getting things to work, right? Whereas React, like you only need like a little sort of routing, as we mentioned, you just plug it in, right? You need Redux, you only plug it in when you need it, right? You see what I mean? You don't need to actually add all this in at once, just as you need it, which also means your app's faster because there's not so much weight to the app in the beginning you only add everything as you need it. So that's going to be beneficial to you. And that's going to help you out a lot, right? So Tanish says, I'm good at React Native, but I doubt myself on React. How can I get confidence in React also? So dude, you've actually got a problem that not many people have. If you're good at React Native, run with, you will run with React. Just give it a try. All I ask you to do is that you go ahead, use Create React App and just give it a try and see the differences. There's minor differences of view against the div, things like that. But once you go ahead and um, once you go ahead and get started with it, you will see there's actually a lot simpler. It's, uh, React is a lot simpler than React Native in my opinion, right? So Faizan says, kindly mention with what technologies you'll be teaching to us like React, React Native. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do a little uh, interval here. I'm gonna say, right, so stuff to expect on the channel, right? So things, to expect and we should say reasons to subscribe right so reasons to subscribe uh so the, here's some of the tech that i'm going to be going ahead and teaching you on this channel right and then we're going to jump into the next point which is the fifth and final point right but before we do that this is your reasons to uh, subscribe and this is why what you should expect so i'm going to be teaching you guys react on this channel right from basics to pro i'm talking everything i'm talking crazy bills i'm talking Everything, I'm making it a mission to make you guys experts with React, right? The next thing we're going to do is React Native, right? So again, I'm going to break React Native down to a point where it becomes so simple for you to go ahead and pick up. Most of you love and know me based on my React tutorials and how I was able to make it very simple. My goal is to do that with React Native and also all the tech that I'm about to list, right? Another technology I love is TypeScript. Right, so if you came from a Java background like me, came from Java, I had like PHP, I had all that sort of, I even done C++ at one point, believe it or not, Papa C++ at one point. And um, so yeah, TypeScript is something that allows you to have a strongly typed language, right? So things like Java, where you have to say, if a string is a string and you have to say, if an integer is an integer in TypeScript, you can go ahead and have those same, uh, 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 that same power behind it and, and say that. Uh, a data, like a, a variable should be a string, a variable should be a number and things like that. So I'm going to teach you guys TypeScript on this channel, right? Then what, we, what else are we going to learn? We're going to learn about things like Gatsby. We're going to learn about things like Next.js, right? We're going to learn about things, uh, any tech that you guys are interested in or could be trending. I'm going to go ahead and bring that into the channel too. And I'm going to do builds. I'm going to do lives. I'm going to be interacting with you all. 
I'm going to be going ahead and getting everything kind of clean. And, and if I find a tutorial that you guys really enjoy and love, I'm going to create a nice condensed version of it so that you can benefit without watching a three hour live stream. Right. So that's my goal here is to make it as simple as possible for you. And you can be damn sure that Papa React is coming out with a fire course. So if you guys are excited about that, then let me know in the comment section. Right. But I'm going to be dropping so much of this stuff on the, on YouTube. So trust me, you're going to land a job way before that. Right. So you've got TypeScript, Gatsby, React Native, React. We've got loads of this stuff. Right. And also, if you guys want to see it, vlogs. Right. I'm going to share an insight into my life, share an insight into what, what I did or how Papa React lives, how Papa React got into everything and all of that stuff, all that good stuff. So, yeah, all of this stuff is going to be awesome. Oh, that reminds me another one. DevOps, right? I'm going to be diving into DevOps. This is how I was able to take my salary from uh, a measly sort of like around the 20, 20K mark all the way up to marks like 60 to 95K, right? This is how I did it. I introduced DevOps skills as well. And that allowed me, and guys, when I'm talking here, I'm talking pounds. So pounds is a powerful currency. It's insane, right? So we have loads of this stuff. So if you're excited for any of this, then you can be damn sure. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe now because I'm not joking when I say we're bringing this fire, right? So there's another one that I want to mention. That I was actually messing around with it in the coaching called GitHub Actions, things like that. You know, that whenever you push code, it triggers off a, a, like a, a pipeline of stuff. I'm going to teach you guys about pipelines, CI, all of that stuff. And also, guys, things that you don't often see, like like how, what the heck is Agile, right? What is Agile? Right. What is the scrum? Like, what is the scrum? You know, like all the software dev stuff that you should know. I want to make it a case that you don't need a degree. Right. So a little bit of background info into me. I did a undergraduate degree and I did a master's degree degree and I got first class degrees. Right. In both of them. I couldn't get a job after. Right? I could not get a job after, believe it or not. So I started my own company. I got fed up. I was like, I ain't going to let anyone tell me that I can't, you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get out of it? Right. So I literally started my own startup company, learned React, taught myself React, and I kind of ran with it in that direction. And my mission here is for you guys to save your money. Right? I don't want you to spend a ton of money on university and, and courses and stuff like that. I just want to make it so damn easy for you guys to just learn pick up all these skills and just change your life. And you know what I want from you guys is literally send me a DM with a screenshot or something saying that you just got a job from the videos. If you do that, it blows my mind. And the thing is, everyone does it because the amount of jobs that we've created and secured right now is mind blowing. And that's all I want from you guys, right? Everything else is secondary, right? So Black Boy Design says, thank you, Sonny, for everything you do for us, man. I can't believe other people are in university learning what you're teaching us for free. God bless you, man. You make the code journey better for real. That's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, somebody says, I'm starting to regret my CS degree. So don't regret it, guys. If you're in a degree right now, don't worry. Just look, anything you can do to better yourself, do it, right? Pick up the soft skills book, right? I'm going to be recommending tons more books. So uh, make sure if you haven't already and you're here right now, go into the uh, description right now, the first link and sign up to the Papa React newsletter, right? Because it is going to be so damn good. I'm telling you tips and trips coming every single week. I am working with people that are amazing. David Jonathan says, bro, you're going to set YouTube on fire. David is incredible. I work with David, right? And he is in, based in Nigeria and he is revolutionizing the healthcare system out there. And I'm working with him hands on. That means I pick up things. That means he picks up things. And you know what we do? We bundle it up, right? All the good, the success that comes from it. And we teach it to you for free. So that's, that's it. Right. There's, there's no more to be said. Right. Like I literally when you guys get a job, all I want is a DM. Send me a DM saying I got a job, man. I listened to you. I got a damn job. Life changed. Game over. I, I mean, it blew my mind the other day. A 30. No, what was it? Yeah. 13 year old. A 13 year old came to me. I'll put it on my story right now uh, after this video. So go ahead and subscribe to my Instagram. And a 13 year old came to me and literally found um what's it called he started teaching he landed like a 10k freelancing gig and i was like dude i have to see proof because i don't know if it's fake or you're just saying this he sent me proof and i was like what 
the what did I just read, man? Like it is crazy. Honestly, blew my mind. Crazy stuff. So all you need to do is hit the thumbs up button. First thing in the description as well. Sign up to the Papa React newsletter so you don't miss out on all this stuff. And it's really, really crazy, right? Uh, I'm going to be doing front end and back end builds, so full stack stuff. So don't worry if you think that it's been one side. I'm going to try and balance things out. Um, and just to clear things up, any course that I release will be my own course. So it's going to be separate from Clever Programmer. It's going to be my own Papa React course and things like that. And it's going to be pushing in that direction. So yeah, feel free to stick around. Feel free to be a part of the hashtag Papa Fam. If you guys are part of the hashtag Papa Fam, drop it in the comments right now and. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take this to a whole new level. And man, you guys get me pumped up. We got 120 viewers, it's only growing. Like guys, this is only gonna grow. We're gonna have thousands of viewers, I know it. I'm telling you straight. Honestly, crazy, crazy stuff. So jumping back, right? So things to expect, reasons to subscribe. If this wasn't already enough, then, you know, like I don't really have to say anything else at this point. Like it's, it's honestly, I'm, I can't, like, thank you so much. Felix says, much love from Ghana. Um, uh, Nikhil says definitely waiting for it. Coding Deep says this is amazing. Um, yeah, honestly crazy. And then guys, if you want consistency with the videos, I'm going to try my best. I'm working with a smaller team. Um, so we're going to be trying to output content and my, I'm going to be, I'm working overtime right now. Trust me. I'm working day in, day out to make this stuff happen for you. So subscribe to newsletter as well. I ask, right? All right, now that's it. We got Tanish, we got Bishesh, hashtag Papa Fam. That's what I'm talking about. Arkan, Amar, Michael, hashtag Adam, Dixon. Hey, let's go, guys. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look at this. Check this out, guys. Hashtag Papa Fam. Let's go. This is what I'm saying, guys. We're going to create a movement on YouTube and we're going to change the coding game, man. This is it. We're going to change everything over on this side. So I'm excited. All right, now, guys. Point number five, right? Point number five as to why you need, right? Like as to why you absolutely need, man, I'm so happy I did a live stream today. I got to talk to you guys, got to interact with you. It's, it's insane, man. All right, point number five, why should you know React? Why do you need to know React? Because all of these huge companies are using it right now, right? So, this whenever you see a technology come into place right whether it's a new piece of tech or something always look at who's actually using this tech right it might be cool might be awesome for example let's look at 5g networks right 5g networks came into play and wow it's amazing it's super fast right but everyone wasn't using it in the beginning and now everyone is using a 5g network because it's amazing it delivers everything fast to our phones like you can literally pick up your phone and stream an entire movie in seconds right and uh and, and honestly like it's it's gonna it's gonna absolutely be crazy like uh, as to what you can do with 5g networks that's a whole different topic but in terms of react right these companies are using it right now we have facebook we have instagram we have netflix we have the new york times we have dropbox we have yahoo we have tesla now if anyone knows elon musk like goddamn like Tesla, right? Tesla is using it for the React Native app. When you literally unlock your car and you can pretty much go ahead and control your car. I mean, like you can even get your car to summon to you by using a React Native app. Like that shows you the power of it, right? That's exciting. I don't know about you guys, but that's like damn exciting, right? So we have Tesla. We have Office 365, right? So Office 365, um, honestly, it's, it's just mind blowing as to how much can happen with a, a with a, a react app so office 365 if you're not familiar microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint has anyone heard of these things like has anyone like i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm not spitting jargon here right like, this is all stuff and uh, this is all stuff which is real it's happening walmart tesco two huge e-commerce um well now they're e-commerce i guess because it's online but two huge supermarkets uh which are pretty much uh like digital and Tesco I've worked at. So I've literally been at one of these places, right? Wix, the online digital platform for creating um, websites, they use React, right? So literally a website that creates more websites is using React. That's like some Reactception, surely, right? Like I think we deserve some kind of hashtag for that, right? But like, honestly, like the stuff that is happening in the React space right now is crazy. Like the React sphere, whatever you want to call it, right? All I can tell you, is that the hashtag Papa Fam 
are going hot for react right now right we are pushing we are going hard like i am making it honestly like i'm trying my absolute hardest day in day out to drop this content to you guys i'm trying always every day to pick up new technologies new stuff to learn it to the point where i can like absorb it simplify it and deliver it to you so all i ask is literally all you do is just hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the newsletter and get pumped up and excited right beyond that you can expect everything i'm going to be working overtime day in day out to make sure that you guys get as much value from these videos as possible i guys look at this live chat right now it's absolutely going off man like you guys are actually insane i love you all all right so check this out we've got david jonathan says uh, welcome back he's talking to someone else there we go we've got uh otonio cortez says sunny you changed my life with the live calls and the clones if i can tell people about the way you change people's minds with your teaching i appreciate that dude right now you just showed someone else the effect and that means everything right uh way ill says let's go i love the energy dude morad says please i want to see a newspaper website like new york times done consider that done i'll do that that's actually a really good that's a really good idea thank you for that one um nikhil says power apps i'm not sure what you mean but we can whatever it is we can look into that newman ahmed says sunny's teaching ability more than a university teacher i love that dude and the reason being is i remember at one one time at university i took over a class and i started teaching workshops because i just hated the way they taught they make everything way too complicated sometimes in school and university that you can just go ahead and make it you know make it a lot simpler and that will actually be able to push you a lot further than simply going ahead and you know wasting time where you don't need to waste time right so guys let's reiterate over the five reasons why you need to learn react in 2021 and why it is extremely extremely important for you to take this seriously invest in yourself which means show up when new videos come out show up right like keep part of a community keep pushing yourself right like develop john somers that book that i recommended go and read it right like don't just say like oh that's cool man like that's really cool and stuff you know I'll, I'll read that tomorrow no don't do that literally go ahead and buy the book it's like nine pounds right or something like that i don't know how much it is but i use audible which is a, a lot easier to for me i mean I, i'm not a person who likes to read much i kind of will cycle on the bike go for a run and i'll put audio book on um so if you're like me then <clears throat> go ahead and get the audio book but guys take action today and just start implementing these things right so we're going to go over the five reasons why you need to learn react in 2021 and i'm going to go ahead and I'm, you know maybe well, why I'll, I'll blackboard this out so it's, it's a little bit clearer for you all to go ahead and see so point number one right so let's go ahead and type it out here right so the five reasons why you must learn react in 2021 right now, the reason why i say 2021 is because this year is almost over so i want you guys to start with a bang oh god damn it i hate that when it happens so let's just go ahead and say five reasons you must learn react in 2021 right um <clears throat> so there we go um and make sure before you do guys if you've enjoyed the video so far let me know in the comments because I, oh my god <laughs> i love the energy today it's insane right um uh, and just make sure that you've literally signed up to that newsletter because it's going to be your best way of keeping in touch with everything that's going on and it's going to be my way of keeping in touch with you guys every week and also on socials on my instagram handle in the corner over here make sure you go ahead and sign up to that all right so number one is because it's the most loved and wanted framework or library they call it a framework but it's not right it's a library currently on stack overflow right so i mean how many of you trust stack overflow i know i know i know i know we don't enjoy stack overflow right because it makes you feel like, like small right <laughs> sometimes they make you feel awful on stack overflow sometimes i'm like working i'm like you know i should am i even a developer because like some people just completely go ahead and like they're just like i ask a simple question i could ask like how to define an integer variable right and someone will give me a 50 line like breakdown as to why i'm stupid for not knowing it right so you could i mean it's crazy right streaker's in the house awesome stuff absolute crazy guy 13 year old who won two react native boot camps right hackathons killed it man honestly crazy Wales says for real guys let's build a cool community let's bring more people and help each other exactly this is the hashtag papa fam we're gonna create an absolutely killer like community this is gonna be crazy we're gonna go forward with this right 
I can see loads of people coming in with the newsletters as well. Appreciate you guys. Right. So number two, right? What is number two? Job opportunities and salaries, right? So job opportunities and salaries. Uh, and salaries that we talked about, right? So we talked about tons of jobs, right? We talked about loads of different openings. Um, so I'm just going to run through some of those again. We had like, look at this, guys. Remember, 121k a year salaries, lows of 68, highs of 171. Remember, you might be wondering, this is a US market. Why is he talking about this so much, right? Like, why is he talking about US markets when we're not in the US? But remember, you're a web dev, which means you can use the web right to push onto these salaries you can get these salaries even if you're in india like i have a friend right now who's working in dubai i can work with him there's nothing to stop me from working with him in fact we actually are going to do some work together so crazy stuff over there right then we have indeed right we have tons of jobs like over here you see like the list goes on and on and on and this is just my local area 2809 jobs crazy stuff let's check out another final one 91k average salary for a react js skilled developer crazy crazy stuff guys like i'm telling you this is here to stay it's, it's offering so much value right now crazy crazy stuff right so um stack overflow oh, by the way guys i wasn't i wasn't hating on stack overflow right they do help you out but i'm telling you like i mean stack overflow has done more damage sometimes than good in that sense um so carrying on guys we're going to go forward with the, the list so we had two points up above most loved and wanted library on stack overflow job opportunities and salaries and then the uh, third one, it's easy to learn and it's versatile right now. Easy to learn because literally you can go ahead and use very basic JavaScript skills, start picking this up and you can pretty much, as I mentioned before, all you need to know is HTML, CSS and a bit of JavaScript to pretty much get started on your journey, right? You don't need to go crazy on it and it will benefit you to know a little bit of ES6, like it will make your life a little bit easy. Right, any you can do it, yes, seven, whatever they decide to call it after that 2019 work stuff. Right, you can go ahead and learn that. Um, and that's gonna help you out a little bit more, right? But it's easy to learn now, and it's also versatile, right? Like I remember we talked about huge companies that are using this stuff. Facebook, we have um Twitter, Uber, all these places, Tesla, right? Because remember, you can build web apps from it, so you can build amazing web apps, but then you can also take that skill that you have and just transfer it to start building native apps, right? So you you don't just have front end. You have backend, you have native apps, you have full stack. Like what other language is that versatile and that simple to sort of like constantly sort of go back and forth and make it so transferable between them. You learn React hooks, wicked. You can use it on React Native, you can use it on React. You can use it on front end, you can use it on the back end. No back end, sorry. React and React Native. Yeah. Back end you're gonna be using JavaScript only, no Jess. Right? Or Dino. Right? I'm not gonna get into that one, but Dino is another hot topic. Okay, so you have a few things like that. Now, number four that we spoke about was the uh, development time is extremely fast, right? The dev time is extremely fast, right? So what does that mean? It means that we can pretty much go ahead and build. Like if you have an idea, you can get the thing up and running extremely, extremely quick, right? That means like you can pretty much just use MPX, create React app and go ahead and, and absolutely push it, right? Gabriel says you should also do React News for uh, uh, all web dev in general in the email newsletter, 100% dude. We're going to be dropping loads of news and stuff like that. It's going to be a very informative newsletter and I think it's going to help everyone out quite a lot, right? Um, so dev time is extremely fast um, and it's literally plug and play, right? So, I mean, it's crazy. Like it's, it's, it's plug and play. So to the point where you can pretty much go ahead and uh, just if you need, to, uh, like I said, if you need routing inside your app, you can go ahead and do a... Uh, a bunch of stuff like that you can go ahead and just pop in react router if you need it and kind of take things further like that right um right so it's plug and play the dev time's really fast if you got an idea all you care about is getting it out there right and even things like hot reloading like i'm not joking it makes your life so much easier by having simple features like hot reloading when you're building a static website with just html css don't you get fed up of like refreshing i know i do i get like sick and tired of refreshing and it just gets like annoying, man. Like I constantly send there, refresh, refresh, save, refresh. On React, I just save and it just reloads, right? Really nice. And even on React Native, imagine you're a really complicated journey in your app. It would just do a hot reload in the styling and that's it. I don't have to go all the way through the journey again and get to that point. So that would be awesome and it will help you up a lot more, right? Um, so, uh, fourth and fifth point that we talked about is it's being used by huge real world companies, 
right? Real world companies. And I'm gonna show this on the screen right now, right? So let me go ahead and find a link. I actually had a really good link that I wanted to show everyone. Um, and I wasn't actually sharing my screen there. So it's being used by huge real world companies, right? So that's the final thing I was talking about. Um, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you a, a, a link right now about where I had a bunch of React apps. I had a nice big link that showed you guys. Uh, so here's 16 apps that are absolutely killing it right now and using React Native, uh, right? So React Native um, to go ahead and get the app up and running. So top apps built with React Native in 2020, right? So let's go ahead and see what they've got over in this section right now. So we'll wait for that to load up. I guess the stream's taking a bit of the internet connection. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and see what the comments are saying. So we got, sometimes React Native goes sicko mode and I need to reload every time. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. I feel your pain, man. Um, uh, so we've got C-Knowledge. He goes, hi, Sunny. Ali from London. Nice, dude. I'm in London. That's awesome stuff, man. Uh, we've got Anupam. We've got Mohit. We've got Dixon. Lovely sisters. Nice. Uh, Steven. Hey, love the energy, man. Uh, top apps built with React. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and have a look, right? So this is our fifth and final point. So we got RT. So you can see you've got a wide range of apps, right? So RT was an app that revolutionized sort of the online marketplace for art, right? So it's people who had art and things like that didn't previously have easy ways of sharing it. So they managed to go ahead and build an app with React Native. You got ByteSnap. This is a pretty cool app. I'm not sure what it does, actually. I think it just, oh, nice. It tracks your calories by just taking a picture. That's cool. That's really cool. That's nice. You got Bunch, Bloomberg. Um, is that a handy app for news and sort of stock market tra tracking, things like that. Cake, right? So I'm not sure what that is. Shape of Home. Coinbase Pro. I don't know about you guys, but I am into my crypto and sort of Coinbase is a really sort of handy app. So this one you can pretty much go ahead and use and you can trade and things like that. And uh, uh, yeah, that was all built with React Native. So if you guys recognize any of these apps, by the way, let me know in the comments because uh, it'll be awesome to see that. We've got Crisp, we've got Delivery.com, Discord. Hey, look at that, guys. We've got huge apps like Discord, right? I'm pretty sure everyone in the chat knows what Discord is, right? Because I, I hear enough about it. I hear loads of things that we should go ahead and, you know, get everything up and running with Discord. So I will, I've heard you guys, I listen to you. All you need to do is hit the first link in the description. Make sure you sign up to the proper React newsletter and I'll let you know when the Discord server gets set up and running. I'll get that set up ASAP. And we can pretty much push forward with that. Now, uh, we've got Emma, Familia, Golf, Helper, Instagram. This is one of the kings. Since 2016, Instagram is experimenting with React Native to improve their development velocity. So this is literally explaining what I just told you guys. Remember, development time is extremely fast. Instagram is a huge company and they're using it. So if Instagram are using it, then what are you waiting for, guys? Like, and then, by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram over here. You know, little plug there. And uh, you can keep in touch with me, DM me, things like that. Uh, remember, I get buried with messages. So if I don't respond, don't take it personally. I'm really trying my best to get through to everyone. But I love and appreciate every single one of you for being here. So that's awesome stuff, right? So we got Instagram happening. Uh, we got Instagram. We got uh, Mayfi. Uh, that's pretty cool app, by the way. This one, you can pretty much put in an equation and it will literally calculate on the spot. So you can see like, it doesn't matter what kind of functionality you need. We've got Clean Clocan says, hey, Sonny, tuning in from Jamaica. Amazing stuff, guys, worldwide. Office 365, we got Cortana, Microsoft Edge. And guys, not just one app, they're using it for the entire suite. Like, I'm just gonna let that, I'm gonna let that settle for a sec, right? The entire Microsoft suite is using React Native. That's crazy. All right, look how many apps there are that are using it. Even Xbox, they actually re that's actually a really cool example. They actually uh, completely redone the, the Xbox app recently with React Native Skype, All right? We can use things like Electron to make really powerful uh, applications like Slack. Slack was built using Electron, right? So really, really powerful stuff um, that is just absolutely killing it, right? Um, Saffron, we've got Pinterest. So Pinterest, you might all know. Salesforce, if you guys didn't know, hot topic in news right now, Salesforce just bought Slack. So they just signed a deal to agree with Slack. That's why Slack's uh, st stock price went up. But Salesforce actually just went ahead and acquired Slack. And uh, yeah, so amazing company, big company. They use it too. Uh, I don't know what this one is, but you got Shine. And then guys, SoundCloud, amazing stuff. The one I'm excited about to show you guys is Tesla. This app, man, this app, like I'm talking like <laughs> unlock your car 
literally do all your stuff, literally honk your car, start your car, valet mode. Like you can do the sort of all of the crazy stuff that Tesla does where you summon, like summon your car. All of that is from React Native. So if you've ever had the question of, you know, thinking about is React Native powerful enough for what I need it to do? Or is it sort of going to limit me? Maybe I should do native development by So maybe I should do Swift, you know, maybe I should do Objective-C. Then I'm here to like completely like step on that and say, no, don't do that. Learn React. With React, you're going to learn web applications, front end, back end, because your JavaScript is going to come up, which means your Node.js skill is going to also go up because you're going to have to transfer the JavaScript skills that you've acquired with React pass that to the back end and just create a full stack app and become a full stack developer in no time. And you can also go ahead and take that skill that you learn with React over to React Native, build crazy iOS and Android apps like I've just shown you right here. So amazing, amazing, powerful stuff from React, React Native. And this is why you absolutely must learn React in 2021. That's why your boy Papa React is back. That is why I am here to stay. All you need to do, guys, hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. I mean, guys, I'm here to stay. It's going to be pre-recorded. I'm going to edit a bunch of really nice videos, drop them on the channel so they're a bit more easier to consume. I'm going to be dropping more live streams. I'm going to be dropping uh, Q and A's. So I actually do quite a few Q and A's. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. And that's where I usually do the Q and A's. I'll tally things up. And as always guys, I love and appreciate every single one of you. All I'm asking is that you go into the first link in the description, sign up to the newsletter. If you haven't already, I'm actually just going to check right now how many people we joined, joined our newsletter today. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. We just got tons of you that came through on the newsletter right now right if anyone actually signed up to the newsletter today go ahead and let me know in the comments right now and i'd love to see that like we have i'm going to shout some of you out right now right we have jugal we have mike knows we have Amma serasive we have bikram muhammad bikram nikra uh, nikhil rachana jazdev right we have binu cedric sohel we have Joe Diaz. Hey, what's up, Joe? We have Jonathan Freddy. We have Abhishek. We have Teja. Murad. Aaron. What's up, guys? Felix. Ashraf. Mario. Fagan. Oh, my God. Doris Wang. Chad. Yanez. Iveta. Jaskaran. Ranjit. Miss, uh, w. Wong. Gurav. Oh, damn, guys. We got loads of people who joined on the newsletter today. That's crazy. Amanda. Lalumia. What's up? We have uh, Mahash. Guys just crazy right christopher Possumai says will you do more builds hell yeah dude builds on this channel whatever you want to see whatever you want to go ahead and do as i mentioned before all you need to do is connect on the newsletter and that way when i drop things like a discord club um discord server you can go ahead and connect to it and things like that and you can be the first to be in there and give suggestions as to what you want to see what you want to go ahead and do right um ayush says i just joined i'm going to join just now Awesome stuff. Nikhil said, you bet I did. Bishesh says, already signed up. Uh, Vishal says, I joined. Super excited. Mohit said, yep, I did it on the very first minute. Appreciate you guys. This was an awesome video, man. This is an awesome video. And today we talked about top five reasons why you need to learn React in 2021. With that said, guys, I love and appreciate every single one of you. And guys, I'm ready to kill it. I hope you guys are going to bring your A-game to each and every one of these videos. And uh, this is your boy, Sunny, a.k.a. Papa React. And all you need to do is literally, like I said, newsletter. Hit the subscribe button, bell notifications if you don't want to miss a video. Follow me on Instagram if you want to get, you know, see a bit more of a personal side. But otherwise, beyond that, guys, keep on crushing it every day. And I look forward to seeing every single one of you in the next video. Right? If you're part of the hashtag Papa fam, go ahead and comment there right now. But I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Wow. Completely amazing, amazing energy today. I'm going to let the video go on for a little bit more so I can see the comments that came in. But otherwise, yeah, guys, crazy, crazy energy. 
So Hill says he subscribed, seen all it subscribed, clean code subscribed, seen a sure at subscribed, shivraj subscribed. Guys, honestly, amazing, amazing stuff. With that said, as I said, guys, so uh, I'll be answering all any questions that sort of get left over in the next video. But yeah, your boy Papa React. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.